Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this word search in Canva. So the first thing we need to do is to go up to create design, click on the drop down. And for this particular demonstration, I'm going to use an A4 document so just click on that and then go over to elements over here. Go to the top here and just type in table, click OK, then go to the tables and just click and drag out a table or just click on the table. And now we want to make this table roughly the width of the page that we want. So let's pull it out and you can see these pink lines that appear. If you line it up with those pink lines, it will click in place. And then what we're going to do is we're firstly going to add some rows. So click on these three dots here. If they don't appear, it's because you haven't selected the table. So select the table by clicking on this outer line and you can see the whole table has been selected. Click on the three lines and select add row and just keep doing that until you've got the amount of rows that you want. Now for this demonstration, I think I'm just going to do I think about eight rows here. So to add columns, if you just select any column or any cell at the top, click on the three dots here and just select add column. Now for this, we're just going to add columns until these cells become squares. You can see they're reducing in their width and I'm just going to add them until they roughly look like squares. I think one more and now they look like squares. So now all I'm going to do is just click anywhere and drag that table down and then I'm going to insert another table and I'm going to move this one up and if you move it left and right you can see it will click into the central location and that pink line will appear and here I've got 12 boxes again you can put more boxes on if you want to add rows or columns and you can again adjust this table if you want to. So here I'm going to put in all my words. Once you've done that, you can see that with each of these tables that are inserted, the top row will always have bold text on it. And it's really easy to sort that out, but we're gonna come and do all of that at the end because it will happen in here as well. So the next thing you want to do is to put all of these words into this grid, obviously diagonally, backwards, forwards, however you see fit. So what I'm gonna do, so I start off with, let's say puzzle. I'm gonna to start to put that one here. So I'm gonna do the P and then gradually go up and you can see I've replicated the puzzle on the right. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to click on the puzzle cell here, go up to the color and I'm going to turn it green. The reason I've done that is because then I know it's in the grid. There's nothing worse than putting them in and figuring out, well, have I put that one in or I might not have put it in, I don't know. So each time you insert a word, turn it green and you know it's in the puzzle. And then we'll come back at the end. I'll show you how to increase and decrease the font sizes, the font and the color, and then put the title in. So I'm just gonna insert all the text now and speed up the video. Okay, so once you've put all of your words in, you can obviously see that some of them overlap and it's sometimes good to use letters from other words to connect them to. We've been left with very little space everywhere else. So all you need to do is just go along and fill up those spaces with random letters. There's no rhyme or reason to it, just fill it up. And you can sometimes make it a little bit more tricky by adding letters that are the same as the word they're trying to find. You can double the letters, it really doesn't matter. Okay, perfect, now once you're done, let's just move these up. You'll notice that I had to add another, let's just put a letter in there. I had to add another row to my grid because I was actually missing a row. As you can see over here, I had one more row and I'm just trying to copy this grid over here. So now we've done that, let's concentrate on these fonts. So let's select the whole table and then we can go up to the fonts here and then let's choose a different font. And then if you click on the top row here 
and hold your shift key and click at the end here you can select the entire row you can see the bold has been selected just deselect bold and then reselect the entire table again by clicking on the outside of the table and then we can go to this minus and add sign for the font and increase that font size just keep clicking and you'll see the font increase and increase it to where you're happy and then with this grid up here I'm going to click on the outside I'm going to go to text color click on black and again at the top click press shift select the entire row deselect bold and then to remove these grid lines select the grid go to this icon here that says borders go to this icon here that says border style then click this icon here and it will remove all of your border lines you don't have to but you can if you want to and then finally we'll go over to text just click add a subheading drag that over go to position and click center then add the text then deselect it reselect it go to underline and then you can increase or decrease the size of this to suit your needs now once you've deselected it all you can have a play around these words here for me are a little bit spaced out so I'm going to grab one of these corner balls here and then I'm just going to click and drag and make those a little bit smaller again once the table is selected I'm going to go to position select center so that this is centered and I'm just going to move this word search down a bit as a, for me it's a little bit close to the top and again if we move this over you can see exactly when it's centered if you're not happy go to position and click center and it will center that title for you let's just move this up a little bit perfect so that's all finished but if you do want to add some interest you can go over to elements you can go to graphics and then at the top here let's just put in pink gradient and press enter any gradient here without the crown sign is free and then all you need to do is just click and drag it over pull the little balls out to the side and move the markers in the middle to cover the page now you can see it's covered all of that word search so we need to go to position and at the top here it says go to back click that and that gradient will go to the back and you'll be able to see a word search through it perfect so once that's finished you can go to share and then you can go to download click on the download and then you can download it as any of these files here I would save as a JPEG and then simply click download and then here it will show you it's downloading and then all you need to do is go to your downloads and you can either print it off or use it for social media websites or email so I hope that's helped you today if it has please like and subscribe and have a great day